For eye surgeon Dr. Lloyd Williams, this moment when the bandages first come off says everything. <laughs> After a life-changing eye surgery, this woman is seeing again for the first time in years. That moment, repeated over and over again, as people who had surgery the day before adjust to the light. What is that moment for you? When I first saw it happen, I thought, I could do this for the rest of my life and never feel like I wasted a minute. Dr. Williams, an ophthalmologist at Duke University, has traveled with the Himalayan Cataract Project for a decade on a mission to cure blindness. The latest trip in December to South Sudan in Africa, a country with the highest rate of blindness in the world. Dr. Williams worked alongside two local eye surgeons. For the most part, I don't even get up. I just sit, do surgery, next, do surgery, next. They call these surgical boot camps, performing nearly 2,000 cataract surgeries in just 10 days. People walked from as far away as 40 miles to be here, some arriving in wheelbarrows, many led by a stick. The results are immediate. Five-year-old Kual, confused at first in this new world of sight, before finally spotting his mom. Many families here have a child take care of the person who's blind. You cure the blindness in the individual. You improve the economic situation of the family. You put one of their children back in school. This woman seeing her adult son for the first time in five years. Imagine if you hadn't seen your child for years. Yeah. I mean, it's really yeah. quite remarkable. You don't need to speak the language to understand what's Absolutely. happening. She locks eyes with her son. We had one boy say to us, I don't deserve to have any friends because I'm blind. And when I see that in them and I think I can do something about it, it just makes that all worthwhile. These boot camps changing lives as patients come out of the darkness to see the world in a new light. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.